Electro has Ailish here. Now, UK legislation of electric scooters is knocking on the door. And a bunch of other countries are laughing at us and our draconian laws. And why wouldn't they? I mean, it's pretty much a joke, right? But you laugh or you cry. Right, guys? <laughs> Now I know that electric scooters aren't everybody's cup of tea. It's definitely a divisive topic here in the UK, but I do genuinely believe that electric scooters are a really important part of mobility in cities, especially for swapping out cars for something more lightweight, smaller and far less polluting. And I think electric scooters get a bit of a bad rap because we have seen a fair few reckless drivers on rental electric scooters who've never gotten one before, driven stupidly, not known the rules of the road, and then left them strewn on the pavements afterwards for people to walk over but let's be honest there are a fair few bad drivers out there in cars yeah, me. so if we had the same logic surely we should ban cars too but that's not happening so the thing is although i'm obviously a big fan of electric scooters i've never really jumped on one and just it's clicked for me that this is my favorite this is the one that i would get so my mate rich has challenged me to test out these five electric scooters to see if any of these do the job that's right, Electroheads, I've been standing there the whole time, just off camera, like a weirdo. Ailish, you've challenged me to ride five electric bikes to see if I would love one of those. So we'll do that in a separate video. In return, I'm challenging you in this one to ride five of my favorite e-scooters, and I bet you 100 pounds that you will find one that you like. Wait, do you get 100 pounds or do I get 100 pounds? Well, if you like one, I get 100 pounds. If, if you don't like oh. one, I give you a hundred pounds. All right, all right, hundred So quid. you're fully in control of whether you get a hundred pounds. Fine, fine. Fine. Okay, okay. What's a hundred pounds in like other currency? Yeah, so if you're in the US right now, that's about a dollar uh, because we've got a government that can't even maintain a stable currency, let alone bring in uh, progressive legislation on mobility. But, um, you know, you guys are moaning that gas is going up a little bit for your five liter SUVs. So um, yeah, just stop moaning basically. All right, well, should we take a closer look at these? Yeah, I feel like I just unnecessarily offended <laughs> about half of our audience. I'm sorry. I love you, America. I'm actually coming to America soon, so uh, if you're in Chicago, say hi. Roll the spec. All of these electric scooters have been tried and tested by moi. And actually, unfortunately, I'm gonna to have to give Rich 100 quid because um, I do have a favorite. There is one that I would definitely go for. Can you guess which it is? Drum roll, please. It's this one, it's the 8TEV, not 8TEV. That is not how you say it, 8TEV B12. And I think, well, firstly, it rides beautifully, which I'm gonna get into. But don't you think it just looks fit? This is a fit scooter. That's right, you can label that fit. I think it looks awesome. I love the maple plywood here. It just really pops and I haven't really seen anything like it before. The B12 sports a 250 watt motor that offers plenty of power to keep up with traffic. The frame is made from a lightweight aircraft grade steel with a maple seven ply platform to soak up any vibrations from the road. As the name suggests, this scooter comes with 12 inch wheels and can cater to any size rider with a max weight of 120 kilograms. These wheels are larger than most usual commuter electric scooters and the profile is high, which means that it is soaking up all those little bumps that you get on the tarmac. And I can actually imagine this would be pretty, pretty good on the ground. Oh, so I might actually test that out in a second. Two seconds later. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh, I've slowed down too much. This is good. I mean, yeah, you can feel like the bump through the stem of the of the steering, but this. Usually we bang on about the need for suspension on e-scooters as a base level for safety, but the problem with this is that it can result in a heavier scooter. The plyboard plus big wheels cleverly act as a lightweight impact sponge. I can't believe I'm saying suspension isn't needed with the scooter, but it really isn't. The B12 actually comes in three models for three options of range. The Proxy with around 14 miles, the Classic with around 20 miles, and the big boy, the Rome, that can deliver 26 miles of range on one charge. Each weighing one kilogram more as you spec up. 
Depending on which model you choose, you're going to be looking at a spend of between £1,300 to £1,600. You may have noticed the platform on this is a lot bigger than a lot of the usual scooters you've got on the market currently. And that means that you can just spread your feet out, disperse your weight a little bit more. And uh, it means that I can actually ride this a bit more like you would a skateboard. It's like half skateboard half scooter which just means that you've got your front foot pointing forward so you can see where you're going and you've got your shoulders straight ahead but this foot at the back means that I can actually turn left and right a lot more easily and if something should jump out at me I'm able to actually distribute my weight and actually deal with taking a sharp corner or stopping. The steering geometry makes for an experience like no other. The frame feels like it's hypermobile with added joints to allow you to lean into its turn. The motor itself is really punchy too. This is absolutely key to feeling safe out on the roads. If you need to get out of danger quickly, there's a good kick, particularly when you're in the toppers mode, level three. I even managed to get a decent top speed that even our camera operator Cole couldn't keep up with. I can't keep up! Oh. <laughs> The motor's quite noisy, but I actually wouldn't say that's a bad thing because when you're on roads, you kind of want people to hear you a little bit. That's my opinion anyway. That's my opinion! 80EV are from Israel, and I don't know if you know, but in Tel Aviv, micromobility is absolutely booming at the moment. So there's a lot of intel that has gone into this scooter. Legalization feels imminent, and so to prepare ourselves, we have created an online store. It's electroheads.com, where we have stocked up with all of these bad boys. Now, of course, we know that we can't ride these on British public roads just yet, but we are getting ready for that. And even if you wanted to buy one now, then you can get it on private land and you can practice because practice makes perfect. We all need safer, more confident scooterists on our roads when the time comes. And you might be watching this now whereby these things are now legal. Yes, thank God. Cop yourself a B12, cop yourself a Scrambler, cop yourself a Ducati. There are so many electric scooters available and electric bikes if that takes your fancy as well. So head on over to our store and check them out. This scooter genuinely has the best bell I've ever experienced in my life. This bell gets a 10 out of 10. Are you ready? Better do this justice. Oh, it pops. Move out of the way. So you'll probably know by now that electric bikes are my go-to. However, there are instances where electric scooters would definitely be my first pick. And that is, for example, some of us just want to wear outfits that we can just get around in with floaty dresses, floaty trousers. If I'm using an electric scooter, then I can wear whatever I want and get into work bone dry or to an event or wherever I need to go and not need to worry about what I'm having to wear. And secondly, for example, if you're going to a mate's house or something like that and you know that you can't lock up your electric bike anywhere safe and secure because let's be honest these love an electric bike an electric scooter is a perfect swap in because you're able to get it in the house fold it down it's a no-brainer there are so many different use cases for this another good video i reckon yeah i'd say so i think it's gonna pop same is there any particular reason you dressed as a licorice all sort today <laughs> i thought this was called style right, fair maybe enough. let's take you back to school rich okay fine well before you do that could i actually have the 100 quid that you pay me for because i won the bet do you take Klarna? If I could ride a scooter on the road right now, I would 100% be picking this one right here, the B12. And that is because not only does it look great, it's also really versatile and it just handles beautifully on the roads. It's so fluid. It just has this response that I don't think many other scooters really have. But what do you guys think? Let me know just after everything I've spoken about today. Does this feel like a bit of you or is there another scooter that you would have picked today? Let me know down in the comments and please, don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already because we have a bunch of fresh content coming out weekly. Hit that like button if you enjoy the video and I'll see you soon. Bye!